I don't know, what's the fastest way to set up trucks? I feel like I'm a moderate pace. Any pet peeves with setting up trucks? I'm gonna list a few right now. This is front truck, right? But I don't need it anymore. I don't have to know that it's my front. We're here at Colchena. I'm gonna give you my reasons why I like the Thunders and I'm gonna skate them. This is just my light analysis of why I think they're special. I'm gonna talk about the technical aspects of the trucks and also more sentimental reasons why I like Thunder trucks. I only have an hour to skate here before I'm gonna go to the ledge up the block. Really grateful. These are the 148s and I'm skating an 8125 board, which I really love. Shout out 8125. reason why I ride thunder trucks is because they're sick. The lifespan of a skateboard truck is is like many boards. Uh, I really like the style, the aesthetic of this truck is unlike any other on the market. The way the actual axle sits, the back of it looks so good on a skateboard. Um, it has more of a minimal look to it. It has a minimal appeal, but it serves its purpose. That's one of the main reasons why I think Thunder Trucks are really good. Another reason ties into this is my friend has built drift cars and the way they look when they're driving away, the rear end of the drift car has such a wide base and it looks so clean, which is similar to this. If you were to see this rolling on the skateboard, that would look like the rear of a 240 or actually an S13, I believe. No, it might be an S14. They sit super low. That's why Thunders are also awesome. And this is fresh, fresh Thunder truck going on the base. It doesn't even matter which one it is because they're both new. So I don't even have to know which, what's the front and the back. See this? This is the difference. the pet peeve of of uh, skateboard trucks when circular they're very accurate whereas these ones are a little bit more off-centered and worn from years because I have no grooves this is brand new I don't have to know which is the front or the back dude shout out anti-social for offering free hardware that's incredible I love hardware two freshies Super used trucks, they get a little sketchy. They get a little worrying, worrisome. The, the wheel, the nut of the wheel, just gets stripped most of the time. And it sucks having to replace it. But shout out Menu, because they actually offer a rethread tool. I do have to remember which are my back wheels, because those are the smaller ones from power sliding. And by the way, I'm still skating those 101 Dura Spitfire wheels, which are epic. Uh, you should check out the review if you want to watch some power sliding and also these wheels, why they're so epic. Fresh washers in here, wow. Just look at that beauty. Well, the pieces to the puzzle, man, are just threading right. Is a privilege. Nah, these are non-stripped, folks. That means never, ever have they had problems. The thing I really like about Thunders is the bushings. These bushings are the factory yellow bushings, and they're actually so good. 
I've always had good things to say about these things. And it's funny because even when they break, I still skate them. I'll skate them, they're fully sliced in half, I'll be skating them. As long as they're tucked in there, they'll work. The uh, bushings for Thunders last me the full lifespan of my Thunders usually. Uh, thunders versus Independence, there really is no conversion or versus, it's just preference. I don't know, I feel like they're both really solid trucks. You can get to the axle and still grind them. These other ones are full axle and you can see that I'm still having fun on them. Uh, one blue moon when I was like 16, I finally converted to Thunders just because I wanted to try them. I was like, now's the time or maybe they were free. I was always independent, independent everything. Because when I was younger, I discovered that blank silver trucks were independents. So those are the steezy trucks that every talented skateboarder rides. And uh, the truth is also thunders, standards. To be honest with you, I did like the look better and they did turn better. So that's why I converted. And also the bushings never stuck when I had to break them in, which was a major factor. When I got new independents, the bushings would stick to one side and it would bother me every time because my board would just shoot out and turn right and just dip out. So these don't do that. My so brand new independence did stay to one side and I just put some bushings out oh. immediately. So what were bushings? I, did. I think I put dodos. Okay, that's good. Because yeah. the bones bushings can get a little iffy. We're here at the little ledge that uh, the homie Keaton set up and I'm gonna ride it for a bit because I've never been here. I'm gonna do a couple more tricks. These are still fresh trucks and it's a butter bench so it's gonna be really chill. It's gonna grind super easy. It's gonna glide. So let's see what it looks like. bothering me today about these trucks was I didn't loosen them. I like to skate them from factory default tightness and break them in. So I have to struggle for a bit with my turning. I usually lean further and turn sharper than what the default tightness gives you, but it does allow for cleaner tricks because tighter trucks generally you get a better accurate flick in my opinion. So that's just my first hand experience. Thanks for watching guys. I know I've been in and out of YouTube and I just, I appreciate the support. Uh, I didn't skate too many course features, just angle iron at a skate park and then this butter bench, which isn't going to, it's not going to deface these trucks too quickly. I'm really glad to have them and skate a fresh pair. Mine were toast, so it's good to have some new ones. See you on the next video that I make.